Hello everyone, welcome back to the Boeing 747-200 tutorial with me, Stock Surfer. We're back on FUAS the 747-200 and we'll just be checking out the fuel system today. On the fuel system, there's two reserve tanks, number one and number four, four main tanks, and a center and wing tank, or that's actually just the center wing tank. Okay, so let's just quickly go over this. We have uh, ten main boost pumps. And we have a forward and aft boost pump. On all the main tanks, we have a left and right uh, pump for the center right here. These are just override pumps. So I believe I can actually... Yes. So those are override pumps right there. So those will travel into tanks 1 and 4 because of our cross free valves. So if I just went ahead and I turned those on, and then I went ahead and turned those cross free valves on, you'd see the pressure rise. This is the fuel pressure. I can actually increase fuel pressure by increasing my throttle. Which I didn't increase. There it goes. And fuel pressure is going to decrease right here. All the engines have a firewall control valve. If I was to open this guard and flip this switch, this uh, yellow light would come on right here and it would show that the engine valve is closed so these are just master switches right here for all the fuel valves we also have a fuel heat which if I go and click to on it'll show that it's open uh, during uh, takeoff landing and during flight you're gonna want to make sure you have fuel heat on auto for all of these guys which will uh, just automatically control uh, fuel temperature throughout the flight. You can actually monitor fuel temperature right up here. So if we go engine ones, two, three, and four, and we just have the number one main right here. Currently, these gauges are showing our fuel used, which I just started up the engines. If I press fuel used reset, it'll reset how much fuel I've used. It's really, really easy to monitor throughout the flight. Over right here, we have our gross weight preset, and with our gross weight preset, we can set the gross weight of the aircraft versus the total fuel, and it'll show us uh, how heavy the aircraft is believed to be at the current time. While flying, if you're getting really, really low on fuel right here, uh, what you can do is with the uh, reserve valves, if you're getting low in these tanks, and you want to drain these tanks, it's all gravity fed. So you'll go flip this, and it'll say reserve valve, and the reserve valve. Once this tank has a little bit of fuel, like less fuel in it, it'll actually drain this uh, with gravity and drain this tank completely and then you can just close up the valve by the way every single blue light on this system when it uh, lights up and then goes back off it would show you that it's going into transit so let's go ahead and close back up those let's turn off those t pumps right there and then close those guys right there and so just some final things to add the scavenge pump right here it's going to transfer fuel to main tank number two if the center tank pressure gets low, so we turn that on. And so it'll, ma it'll transfer it into uh, main tank two if I have those cross free valves open. And let's see what else. Let's just talk about the jettison real quick. Fuel jettison is over here. You just push right here and you'll lift that panel or you'll pull that panel down. We'll go ahead and move our camera right over to this panel. Okay, so at the very bottom, what we're looking at here is we have our left and right nozzle valves. So once again, we have the in transit, or the valve in transit. So on and off. On and off. Those are almost like your master switches right there. So we're going to turn those off because I don't want to start dumping fuel right here on the ramp. So we have the pump one for the main tank. We have our pumps for the center wing tank. We have our pumps for number four tank. We have our pumps for number two tank, three tank. So t if I said... I'm going to drain uh, the number two tank, flip that, and flip that. Pressure lights go on and then instantly off. I believe we should, there we go, we are dumping right here. And I think there is, there might be an animation for it. Yes, there is an animation, we are just dumping fuel right here. Anyway, so that has been a very quick tutorial on the fuel system of the Boeing 747-200. Please like, subscribe, and in our next video we'll be looking over the pneumatic system of the Boeing 747.
Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And one final thing I forgot to add before I go ahead and completely end this video. If you actually go over and press gauges, press to test, you're going to press it for two seconds. One, two, release. Watch your fuel gauges. They're going to go ahead and show you EPR1, EPR4. They're going to do a test real quick, and then they'll go back to what they had. But they'll quickly show the highest number that they can actually display in the tank. It's actually kind of useful if you want to know how much fuel you can actually hold. Anyways, thanks for watching.